All right, all right, all right. Is there anything cuter than seeing a pup in a costume? You know what, I'll just answer for you. No! Nah, -uh. so imagine seeing the entire Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk filled with pups of all sizes, donning the cutest attire imaginable. That is exactly what you can see next week thanks to Brandywine Valley SBCA's Bark on the Boards block party. Sarah Smith is a director of communications with Brandywine and she joins us with Caden. Hey. This is Caden. He's ready to go. He is ready to go. <laughs> oh, he looks so adorable. How's he yes. doing with that uh, little costume thing? Is he, he okay loves with it. it? Yes, we rule? practiced a little bit to make sure he was going to be okay. Okay. He has no problems. Yeah. He's ready to be dressed up. He even had a hat on earlier Earlier, but mm. I thought he might pull it off. So oh, okay, we'll okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave him with just the we'll collar. Now, is Caden up for adoption? Yes, he's available at our Georgetown campus. Mm. Hopefully, he won't even make it to Bark on the Boards because we'd like for him to find a home before. He is super dog friendly. He's a nice size dog, not too big, not too little. Yeah. Um, he's dog friendly. He loves all the people that he can meet, loves snuggles. Aww. He did well in his car ride today, so he'd be a great a great pet for anyone. He's pretty much fully grown? I mean, he's a year old, so you know, yeah. there might be a little bit more Maybe. filling out, but okay. but yeah, he's ready to go. I love the ears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Super Randy sweet. Valley SPCA, we talk about you guys uh, a lot. It must cost a little bit to take care of all the animals and all the upkeep and all the nutrition. Yeah. Tell us about that. Yeah, you know, we're the only open intake shelter for the entire state of Delaware. So that's all the lost stray pets, that's all the injured, the cruelty cases for the entire state. Um, we see 50 animals a day walk through our doors looking for help. Wow. So, you know, uh, events like our Bark on the Boards help fund and help take care of pets just like Caden. You know, he's one of uh, just telling that same story. He was found um, by the Office of Animal Welfare, brought to us for a new life. So, you know, we're, we're committed to making sure that these animals find the loving homes that they deserve and events like Bark on the Boards which is so much fun for everyone and it's not that expensive like we're just asking for a little bit of a of a registration fee and come out and do puppy yoga you can even register for that right now <laughs> uh, right at barkontheboards.org and sign up for your spot so you don't miss out that's the most fun ever you do not want to miss out 30 minutes of dedicated snuggle time with puppies that are available for adoption. I mean, oh who, gosh. what else could you out possibly want? I, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. So um, there's other events. I mean, there's other yeah. things going on during the Bark on the Boards. I okay, guess so you have yes. the um, dock dogs. Yeah, that is so much fun. The dock dogs, uh, the dock diving dogs come. There's professionals out there doing their thing, but then you can also sign up your dog to try it out. And that actually is so much fun and kind of funny to watch because you just never know if they're going to make it or if they're just going to be like, nope, no thank you. Um, but some of them really fly and get some height and get some speed and, and you learn a lot about the dogs that, that you have. So mm -hmm. it's really, really so much fun. There's going to be live music by the Bachelor Boys Band. There's going to be a drag show. There's going to be vendors. We'll have adoptable animals and you know a kids zone where there's inflatables and and games and crafts and there's really so much fun for the whole family. Wow. And dogs. And dogs. And dogs. And dogs. And don't forget the costume contest. Yes. We even have prizes. We have a raffle and we also have prizes for the for the costume contest. So plan right now because you know they're going to sell out. Mm -hmm. Plan your costume. Come on down and uh, win a prize with your puppy too. Oh my goodness. So let me ask so you this I think we're out of time, but let me ask you this real quick. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, again, the many animals that you obviously, and we can tell because we've talked to so many people, we can tell if somebody's passionate about what they pursue. You obviously Aww. are. How hard yeah. is it to not take all of them home? You know, I just, I love whenever I can see them go to their new families. My daughter recently fell in love with this bonded pair that was a senior, two senior dogs, and it was really hard for us to walk away, but then, you know, we just, we were so happy to see their adoption photo. So every single day when we get those adoption photos and we see them walking out the door with the tails wagging and, and the kitties too purring and jumping on their new owners, <laughs> You know, that's that's what does it. It's a good day. Mm. Yeah, that's what does it. Well, Sarah, thank you so much. Sure. And of course, Bark on the Boards is coming up next weekend. Next Saturday. Next Saturday. At the Rehoboth Beach, Beach Bandstand. All the information, barkontheboards.org. All right. Sounds good. And Caden, yeah. I don't think you're going to make it because you're going to have a new home. You're going to have a new home. <laughs> yes. <laughs>